Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Verizon's got a huge developing technology. It's going to be a game changer for what they do on the network side. A lot to be excited about here. I got the details for you. The story coming out of FierceWireless.com, also out of PC Mag. They're both reporting the same thing, so I think this is pretty much confirmed. Verizon is going to be developing a combination of their ultra-wideband networking technologies. So we're going to be see two incredibly high-capacity layers on their network working together uh, to combine these spectrum assets and just make incredible capacity on the network. So the details are laid out as such. The first item is it's a combination of C-band and millimeter wave. Hardware-wise, they have MediaTek providing the modem with the M80 and Ericsson utilized for the base stations. The combination of hardware leverages the ultra-high capacity but short range of millimeter wave with the improved range of C-band, which has 3.7 gigahertz uh, frequency spectrum in the mid-band, collectively, all of it being Verizon's ultra-wideband. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X60 modem appears to have this ability already. That's commercially available right now. 2021 phones are good to go. The 2020 phones are a no-go, so you'd have to get a newer phone for this capability. In terms of the testing, 100 megahertz of C-band, 600 megahertz of millimeter wave combined to show speeds, peak capacity of 4.3 gigabits per second. Utilizing massive MIMO as well as beamforming technologies, it looks like Verizon will be ready to go ahead and deploy this strategy in 2022 at the latest. Uh, they are saying that obviously there's a little bit of a different configuration. Verizon initially will only have 60 megahertz of C-band. Of course, block A being shared between them and AT&T, they're splitting that 100 megahertz, 60-40. And uh, you know, now they're using 800 megahertz a millimeter wave. So it'll actually probably push faster speeds. I'd say 5 gigabits per second is probably no problem. SMT takeaways, number one, range on ultra-wideband is going to improve with this technology. Number two, Carry aggregation and 5G NR is going to be available soon. Number three, Qualcomm has some competition in MediaTek, so watch out, Qualcomm. Uh, T-Mobile is doing 5 carrier uh, 5G carry aggregation as well with combinations of N41 and N71 through MediaTek. Number four, two ultra-wideband slices working together. This is great. MediaTek will have their modem in phones, hotspots, PCs, and IoT devices this year or later on, I should say, at the beginning of next year. And, um, you know, it looks like this technology is also going to convert to help uplink as well. And then it's going to improve signal quality and provide Im improved high levels of efficiency. I'm super excited about this. This is a very, very good feature. Uh, can't wait for it to be commercially available and connect to it so I can test it. Let me know what you think of the testing. Are you encouraged? Do you like what you hear and see? Are you excited about it? Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. And if you are a real one and you watch this all the way through, let's go ahead and hashtag 5G UWB, 5G Ultra Wideband. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.